guys. So today we're gonna do something pretty fun. Um, a lot of people have told me in the past that I resemble Brigitte Bardot. I'm probably saying that wrong, I'm not French. Somebody French, come help me. So I just thought it would be really fun to kind of try to echo her hair and makeup look and then maybe put on like a little inspired outfit. I never really see a lot of freckles in the pictures of her, so I'm just gonna put on some foundation everywhere to kind of minimize that. This is a Becca foundation. Okay, so now I'm just gonna spritz that with some setting spray. I use the Milani Make It Last Matte Finish Finishing Spray. And now just for my under eyes and any red spots that I still have, I'm gonna put the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Concealer from Maybelline all over. See, I really like it because it's almost gone. <laughs> Now to prevent any creasing on the under eyes, I'm just gonna go in with some um, translucent loose powder to bake my makeup. This is the one I'm using, I got it from Target. It's Makeup Obsession Pure Bake Transparent Baking Powder. And I recently got this um, Tanya Cook's Crooks Professional Brow Arches and Halos from Target. It's a new brand there, I think, um, and I really like it. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna use that to fill in my brows a little bit. Miss um, Bardot does not have like any extreme brows, so I'm not gonna go too crazy, but just a little bit to fill in any spots. that are kind of, don't have a lot of hair. Ooh, I'm a little heavy on the side. And for the eyeshadow, um, sometimes there's like one picture I found where she has like dark eyeshadow, but most of them are pretty nude. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm just gonna go in with the lightest shade on my e.l.f. Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette. I've had this for like several years, so I don't even know if they still sell it. But yeah, just the lightest shade. It's like a nude color for me. <laughs> really pale. And put that everywhere. And then I'm gonna take um, this peachy shade and do the outer corner of my eye to the crease. I just realized that I put way more powder on this eye. Uh, 
I honestly feel like my eyebrows are a little dark. So I'm gonna take some of this um, Fit Me foundation, powder foundation, and just brush a little bit over my eyebrows. Now she doesn't wear too much blush, just a little bit on the tops of her cheeks. This is like the huge like distinguishing part of her look in my opinion is, well, part of it, the other part is the lips, but she does like um, really serious black eyeliner. So I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. And this is kind of freaky, but you just go in your waterline and go everywhere. Okay. And then now you do the bottom. <laughs> Need some eye drops after that. <sighs> Boom. Okay. And then we're gonna go on the top lid and do a little more eyeliner. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna look in my mirror over here because wings are hard for me. Oh yeah. And this is the super skinny eye marker from NYX. Okay, did that eye, and I'm still gonna go back and add the wing, but I'm gonna use a different product for that that's a little bit easier for me, in my opinion. The other eye is always so much harder. Really quickly, I'm gonna clarify what I did. I just like mainly focus on the outside and then as I get closer to the inner corner of my eye, um, I thin the line out. And for me, I just think that makes my eyes look bigger. Should probably do some mascara now. And this is the Maybelline Great Lash. Everyone's seen this before. I am using waterproof, like the blackest shade of it, to look really dramatic. All right, we're getting there. Okay, now we need to do the wing. So for that, I'm using Eyelore London Pro Magnetic Magnetic Lash Eyeliner, and it comes obviously with magnetic lashes. This stuff is actually really good. Like honestly, I would buy it just for the eyeliner because I really like it. I really like the brush. It makes it easy. Er, pretty good. Oh, that looks like shit. Okay, so this next step, I don't know, they probably didn't really do it in the 60s that much, but we live in 2020 now, so I'm gonna contour a little bit. And this is the Throw Shade Makeup Obsession Contour Palette from Target, Target. I got eyeliner all over my finger. 
Oh, and I'm just gonna go back at the very end and put on the magnetic lashes. Okay, and so I'm using the shades Attitude and Fire. And mixing them up on my brush. And then really lightly going in right here and then up and down. Just a little bit of left around the jawline to define it. And then the other side. And then of course, we gotta do a little highlighter. And I just started doing this recently, but I think it looks kind of cute to put this shade of my highlighter in the shade. It's again Milani, but right on top of the blush. Isn't that cute? Okay, and for nose contouring. My nose is pretty similar to hers already, but hers seems to be like a little bit rounder right here. So I'm just gonna lightly contour a little bit using this shade Respect right here. I don't like to use this darker colors on the middle of my face because I feel like it just looks more obvious, you know? So I'm not putting the contour on the side of my nose, but like on the top, on the edge. And then I'm gonna do a little around here to make it really round and cute like hers. Okay, now I'm gonna blend it all out with this. And I just kind of flatten my fingers and get in there. There we go. Now we can highlight the nose. Just a little bit. They didn't really do this in the 60s, so I'm not going to go too crazy with it. And then she does a really cute little nude lip. It's like a warm nude color, and that's what she uses a lot of times. So this is lighter than my actual lip color, so I don't know if this is gonna work out good, but we're gonna try it. Actually, it's kinda cute. Okay. Since her eye makeup is always really intense in a lot of her famous pictures, I think it's appropriate to use some false lashes to just set off the look. So that is basically her makeup look. Now we can move on to hair. So I'm gonna use both a straightener and a curling wand because her hair isn't super curly. It's just kind of like naturally wavy looking, um, but her bangs are normally pretty straight. So um, I'm gonna achieve that by using both the straightener and curling wand. And the sides of her bangs always kind of like curl um, around her eyebrows somehow and like kind of out and then like around. This could be curled a little more right here that perfect like almost doll looking hair vintage doll look now we're gonna curl some hair 
and after I curl it, you'll notice I'm kind of like pulling it down to kind of straighten it out a little bit. I'm just kind of picking random pieces to just do a quick little boost. Not keeping it on there for very long because they're not super bouncy curls. There's kind of waves. I'm being really messy about this because there's nothing like perfectly precise about this look. <laughs> so you can see the ends aren't really curled, which is perfect because they're not in her pictures either. So now here comes the fun part with this. I've got some bobby pins, I've got some hairspray, texture spray. This probably isn't really the most necessary part. And of course, a teasing comb. I'm actually gonna put in this texture spray right now. I should have done it before I did the hot tool actually because it says it has a 450 degree thermal defense, so. That would have been good. Ooh. So her poof starts like about right here. So I'm gonna take a little section of hair. Hair's really tangled now. And I'm gonna tease the crap out of it. Take a little bit more from the sides. Tease the crap out of that. And then lay it forward. <laughs> Just like that and you're done. And then you just keep taking more layers from behind that and teasing them too. So fun. And if you want to get really crazy, this is where you add in your hairspray. Oh yeah. All the volume. Tease, 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 tease. Oh yeah, we're getting there. So you can kind of just try to get in the top layer and brush that out a little bit, but not too much because she honestly has a ton of volume. So we don't want to mess that up. Just gonna kind of spray some of these front pieces back to cover it up a little more. And then I'm gonna take some of these pieces So now I'm kind of taking a piece and spreading it out. And then I'm gonna put in some bobby pins in the back, crisscrossing them to secure it. Okay, so I'm even gonna go a little crazier and tease some of these side pieces in here to really give it a lot of volume on the sides too. And now that I'm looking at it some more, I'm gonna just pin this piece back too. Cause I think it belongs back there.
I'm going back and just curling these pieces a little better. That I kind of missed before. All right, so in the in a lot of pictures that I've seen of her, she has like this cute like black velvet, maybe navy velvet bow that she always puts in her hair. I don't have one of those, but I do have these little clips that I got from Target. And um, so I think that would be a cute touch for this. To just pop in the back. what she has going on. I feel like a little French girl. Okay, so now time for her outfit. She wears um, these like really cute, girly, like placebo um, blouses a lot in a lot of her pictures and in the one that I'm referencing. And I don't have one of those, but I have this kind of like girly, flowy peasant blouse and I thought I might like tie this at the top to kind of mimic that look that she has. And then um, she's also seen in some pictures wearing like wide leg jeans. So luckily I have some of those too. So I'm just gonna do that. So this is how those jeans look with the outfit and I don't know if I'm really feeling it. It's, it's kind of cute, but I think it would be cuter maybe with a skirt, like a little leather skirt. Cause I've seen some pictures of her wearing those too. I think this is doing it a little bit more. Yeah. That's cute, right? So this is the finished look with everything. Hair, makeup, and outfit. And I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you can copy some of her style because it's really iconic and cute and sexy. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.